DJ Event Planner will change the way you manage and run your business. Streamline all of your procedures and software into one easy-to-manage system. DJ Event Planner, the ultimate online planning tool. Hi, everybody. This is Dan Cheney, and welcome to another Music Charts Archive show here on DJN TV. This week, we're going to take a look back at the top 10 songs from the week of June 9th, 2001. So let's dive right into it. The song at number 10 that week was by a preteen artist, Lil Romeo, who was the son of Master P. His song, My Baby, would peak at number three, and it was his only top 40 hit. The song at number nine that week was Thank You by Dido. Now that song has an interesting history to it. It started out uh, appearing in the 1998 movie Sliding Doors, and then it was included on Dido's uh, debut album, No Angel, from 1999. Then it was featured by Eminem on his single, Stan, and then it was finally released as its own single in 2001, and it ended up peaking at number three. <laughs> the song at number eight was Get Your Freak On by Missy Misdemeanor Elliott. The song was her first single from her album, Miss E So Addictive, and it would end up peaking at number seven. It made a reappearance on the chart in 2015 after Missy Elliott's appearance at the Super Bowl halftime show. The song at number seven was Fiesta by R. Kelly, a remixed version featuring Jay-Z. It was from R. Kelly's album, TP2.com, and it ended up the year being ranked as the best-selling, most played R&B hip-hop song for 2001. The song at number six was Survivor by Destiny's Child. It was on its way down after a seven week run at number two. It also won a Grammy that year for best R&B performance by a duo or group. Tonight's show is brought to you by Electra Voice. DJ Event Planner. DJ Trivia, Odyssey Innovative Designs and Cases, NLFX Professional, Promo Only, and the DJ and TV Insiders. Welcome back to the Music Charts Archive Show and our review this week of the top 10 songs from the week of June 9th, 2001. <laughs> The song at number five for the week was Follow Me by Uncle Cracker, a.k.a. Matthew Schaefer, who got his start with Kid Rock in his backup band. Now, this song was from Uncle Cracker's debut album, Double Wide, and Uncle Cracker in an MTV interview described the song as kind of a dirty picture painted with a pretty brush. The song at number four for the week was Ride With Me by Nelly. It was the third song from Nelly's debut album, Country Grammar, and it was also the highest charting song of those three from that album. The song at number three for the week, Hanging by a Moment by Lifehouse. Now this was Lifehouse's first single, and it peaked at number two and spent a whopping 54 weeks, over a year, on the chart. And it ended up being ranked as the number one song for 2001 for the entire year despite never having hit number one in any one individual week. The song at number two for the week, All For You by Janet Jackson. It was her 10th number one hit, and it was also her last number one hit so far in her career. It spent seven weeks at number one, and it was the song that kept Survivor by Destiny's Child held at bay at number two for seven weeks. And finally, the song at number one for the week of June 9th, 2001, was a collaboration between four popular female singers of the time. Christina Aguilera, Lil' Kim, Maya, and Pink all got together to do a remake of a number one song from 1974 by LaBelle. Lady Marmalade was included on the Moulin Rouge soundtrack. Missy Elliott also helped out producing the song, and they ended up changing some of the lyrics of the song because in the original version, the song was set in New Orleans, but they wanted to change the lyrics to have the song set at Moulin Rouge in Paris to better fit the movie. That's it. Those were the top 10 songs from June 9th, 2001. Let me know in the comments which are some of your favorites. 
I think my favorite from the list was probably Hanging by a Moment by Lifehouse. I liked it because as well as being a love song, it could also have a spiritual interpretation as well. Uh, make sure to click the thumbs up to like the show and join me next time. This is Dan Cheney for the Music Charts Archive Show right here on DJN-TV.